hello everyone uh, today we continue from the previous video so uh, I already model uh, the connection here you can uh, check my previous video in order to uh, see how I can uh, how you can model uh, this type of connection now all I need to do is port the load from the critical uh, load combination. So here is uh, my load, uh, my uh, design load, and uh, I design following LRFD. So now I will try to uh, run the analysis. Uh, in order to uh, design this connection but uh, I want to show you that uh, the column is the bearing member here so uh, what you need to import is the load at the B, uh, beam here okay now I will run the analysis Okay, now the analysis and design is complete. You can check the summary here. The analysis is 100% okay. And the plat is only 0.8%. And uh, it's only your 50% of the both uh, cap capacity. And for the videos, it's also okay. But uh, I want to reduce uh, the thickness of the plate a little bit because uh, the production cost is uh, too high. So first I'm going to reduce the stiffener here. Let's say uh, 6 mm. And the plate here is 8 mm. And this one is also 8 This one is 8 also and these two plates I will use to 12 this one also 12 okay the location of the uh, beam is not okay I will change this a little bit more Think it's okay now. So now we run the analysis again. Okay, the connection is oh, is fine, but uh, I think I need to change the bowl a little bit more because uh, it's still not economic. I will change the size here to twenty millimeter. So the production cost is uh, less than before. Now we try to design again. Okay, now the wheel is uh, barely uh, uh, passed. 
but I think it's okay for uh, this value but if you think that it, it is not uh, safe you can uh, change the wheel a little bit and uh, in the case here uh, for the production this two plate should wheel together so I will change this a little bit uh, this uh, this uh, part of the connection so this is the cut one First, I change the location here. So now there is a wheel uh, with these two plate, but I think I only want the one side like this. Okay, now I will try to design again. So the analysis isn't complete because of singularity, and the problem is the wheel that, that we chain. Now we try to uh, chain to this side. still not uh, okay so we cannot put the wheel there because of the model the model of this connection so now I will uh, put no wheel here but I will change the size of this wheel let's say uh, let's try 7 first Okay, now everything is fine as you can see here. So now we uh, can reduce the production cost uh, um, a lot, I think. So this is how you design the, the manual model uh, connection like this. And mostly this type of connection is used for uh, steel warehouse because the uh, the roof is inclined it's not uh, horizontal so mostly this type of connection is um, uh, useful for the type of structure now I will show you the result of the analysis this is the equivalent stress so as you can see here the stress at this point is uh, high and also at the location of the plate here and if you want to see uh, the deformed shape I think I need to uh, increase the size of the deformed shape here and as you can see this is how the beam and column uh, deform I will turn off uh, turn the deform off now next I will run the buckling analysis
screen now the backlink analysis is complete and you check uh, can check the backlink at uh, this tab and uh, as you can see there are six mode and this is the backlink factor for each mode and the critical one is uh, 2.9 so uh, it uh, okay for uh, this case so that's it that how you uh, design uh, this type of connection uh, I see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching.